Tay K shocked the world in 2017 when he dropped the race while on the run for a murder charge. But most fans don't know that Tay K was part of a group and his homies was just as savage as him. This is the wild story of the Daytona boys. Back in 2014, Tay K and his homies, Pimpies and Santana Sage started a rap group called the Daytona boys. They dropped their first track on Christmas Day 2014, but it took a while before they built a buzz with their music. Besides performing at parties and dropping tracks on SoundCloud, they wasn't really making any waves. Then in August 2015, Tay K dropped a solo track called Biff Zanin. He followed that up a month later with Sly Cooper and started getting some attention in the local scene. So with Tay starting to pop off, the Daytona Boys was able to play some more official shows. But right when they were starting to see a bit of success, Santana Sage murdered an innocent college student after a show in Denton, Texas. Tay K, Santana, and Pimpies all performed at a New Year's Eve house party that night and left around 2 a.m. When they was leaving, Santana pulled up next to a car driven by 20-year-old Sarah Mushleshner. Sarah and her friends had just left the same party, so the dudes in Santana's SUV rolled down the windows and started yelling about how they wanted to f the two girls in the car. A dude who was in the car with Sarah told Santana and his homies that they was out of pocket. Then one of them told him they beat his ass. And another said, I'll shoot your ass, and pulled out a pistol. Sarah tried to drive away, but Santana started letting off shots and hit her in the head. She crashed into an electric pole and was taken to the hospital, but she tragically died later on New Year's Day. The police traced his shooting back to Santana through a Twitter post that showed him next to the whip he was driving that night. He was 20 years old at the time and was in the Marines for three years. His real name was Eric Johnson, and a neighbor of his family told the Daily Mail, I'm just shaking with this news. I'm very surprised. He was a very nice boy from a very nice family. Santana seemed like he had it all together, but in reality, he murdered an innocent woman for no reason. Sarah's dad called her death senseless and tragic and said, we're all going to miss her. Some people don't get to have their kids 20 years. We have to be blessed with what we've had with our time spent. Sarah was an organ donor who also volunteered at the American Cancer Society. And after her death, her parents revealed that her organs were used to save the life of a burn victim. Santana ended up being sentenced to 44 years for Sarah's death. Tay K and Pimmy was both in the SUV with him when it went down, but they wasn't hit with any charges. But just a few months later, Tay K and Pimpies was involved in a deadly robbery that led to the race. If you don't know what went down that night, here's a quick recap. On July 25th, 2016, Megan Holt, Ariana Barat, and another woman all went to Zachary Below and Ethan Walker's place to smoke. When they got there, they unlocked the door and texted Tay K, Pimpies, Sean Robinson, and Latharian Merritt to come hit a lick. Pimpies, Tay K, and other dudes all went in and robbed the place. But Lope got shot during the robbery, but was able to get away. Then his friend Ethan was shot and killed while he was sitting on the ground. According to a witness, Tay K was mad they popped someone and only got a little cash and a watch. Tay K and Pimpies was both arrested and placed under house arrest. Then, in March 2017, Tay K hopped on Twitter and wrote, F this house arrest shit, F 12. They gonna have to catch me on hood. Then, he and Pimpies cut their ankle monitors off and the race was officially on. Pimpies and Tay K wasn't together the whole time they was on the run but both of them was allegedly involved in another murder outside of Chick-fil-A in San Antonio. According to the police, Tay K, Pimpies, and another dude lured 23-year-old Mark Anthony Saldivar into an SUV so they could steal his photography equipment. Saldivar got out of the vehicle and started yelling for help. Then Tay K allegedly tried to run him over. That's when Saldivar hopped on the hood and started kicking the windshield. So Tay K allegedly hopped out and shot him once before driving away. Tay K was later hit with capital murder charges for allegedly killing Saldivar, but he's still waiting for his trial to start. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but a Reddit user posted a screenshot that seems to show Pimpies has already been sentenced for Saldivar's murder. Pimpies ended up getting caught before Tay K, which inspired the bar, Pimp gonna be eating good noodles every day. Pimpies also backed up Tay K during his beef with YB and Namir, even though they was both locked up at the time. The beef started after Namir broke out with his track rubbing off the paint. On the song, he says, Free Lil Tay, know he keep a K, but he not Tay K. I up the chop and let it blow him, watch this bitch eat his face. Tay K took the line as a shot at him. And during a recorded jail call, he said, No, they've been trying to be like me, bro. Bro, that shit lame. That nigga trying to get clout off my name. I'm going to keep this shit low key. But when I see him and he try to dab me up, then I'm going to beat his ass. Pimpy's also threatened to beat Namir up when he gets released. But Namir said there wasn't no beef. In an interview with Say Cheese TV, he said, It's no beef with Tay K, bro. I don't, see, that's, I, I was waiting for you to answer that shit. Nigga, free Tay K on my mama. I was waiting for you to ask that shit. You feel me? Like, it's, it's no beef with that nigga. Like, my big brother, his name Tay, you feel me? He was locked up and shit. Second line was like, I up the chop and let it blow him. Watch his <laughs> eat his face. And they probably thought I was talking about Tay K. But no, that's for anybody. But then Namir posted a video of a concert where his fans was chanting, <laughs> Tay K. Tay K! Tay K! Tay K! He captioned it with, 
I don't got any type of beef with him before people get that mindset. The crowd did that shit on their own. I never knew him in person or anything. I still fuck with Lil Cuz music. Before niggas get anything, did not tell no niggas in that crowd to do that shit, period. <laughs> they did that shit on their own. After he posted the video, fans thought he really had beef with TK. But Namir hopped on Instagram Live and cleared the air. He told his fans, I want y'all to look me in my eyes. Fuck all that beef shit motherfuckers got going on. Fuck all them weak ass diss songs. We getting paid, Fuck all that extra shit. Pimpies was originally offered a 20 year sentence to snitch on TK, but he refused to cooperate with the police and ended up taking a plea deal in exchange for a 30 year sentence instead. But Pimpies wasn't the only one who was offered a deal for snitching on TK. Ariana Barat agreed to testify against Sean Robinson, Pimpies, and TK to get her capital murder charge dropped. She was still handed down a 25 year sentence for aggravated robbery, but she avoided a potential life sentence by snitching. Megan Holt also agreed to testify to have her charge dropped, but she still got hit with a 20 year sentence. Sean Robinson ended up pleading guilty to murder in exchange for 40 years in prison. When the news broke, Ethan Walker's father said, it's one more down and a couple still to go. This was just about wasted lives. The wasted lives of everyone involved. Robinson would still be here when his time is served, but Ethan won't. Even while locked up, Tank K still couldn't stay out of trouble. He got caught with a cell phone in jail, and the chief of staff at the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office reported they asked him to remove it. That's when he attempted to throw it into the toilet to destroy the phone. When they tried to take the phone away from him, he got a little angry and got into an altercation with one of our jailers. TK got sent to solitary confinement after this incident and spent 23 hours a day in a cell by himself. TK was eventually sentenced to 55 years in 2019. He got hit with 55 years for murder, 30 years for aggravated robbery, and two 13-year sentences for his robbery charges. All the sentences were run at the same time, so he won't do more than 55 years. He'll be up for parole after serving 27 and a half years, but his team thinks he'll be up before then. In 2020, rumors started flying that Tay K stabbed a prison guard and had time added to his sentence. His legal team denied the story and tweeted, All rumors of Taymor's sentencing being extended are false. Tay is set out of trouble, and the media is still fighting against him to paint an untrue narrative. Appeals are still continuing, and Tay will be home soon. Hashtag free Tay K. But apparently, Tay ain't happy with his lawyers. In December 2021, he tweeted, I need a new appeal lawyer. Even if he does appeal to Ethan Walker case, he's still facing the death penalty for allegedly killing Mark. Tay's blaming the media, his management, and legal team for the situation. In 2019, he said, I want to apologize to all my fans and supporters for letting my management and label convince me that it wouldn't be a good decision to speak out against the way the media makes me look and the complete lies they spread. But I'm going to make sure the truth about my life and my character gets out with or without management or a label. And whoever don't like it, f you. Santana and Pimpies have both been pretty quiet since they got locked up. It seems like they was more realistic about their chances of getting out than Tay K. He had two co-defendants testify against him in court, but somehow he still thinks he'll beat the case. The Daytona boys had the opportunity to blow up with their music, but instead they threw it all away over senseless violence. They were just starting to come up when Santana murdered Sarah Mushleshner, and it was all downhill from there. Tay and Pimpies was involved in the death of Ethan Walker a few months later, then allegedly killed Mark Anthony Saldivar while they was on the run for that. Now it'll be decades before any of them even have a chance of getting parole. And if Tay gets convicted for killing Saldivar, he might be put to death or locked up for life. Rest in peace to Sarah Mushleshner, Ethan Walker, and Mark Anthony Saldivar.